as a middle-aged menopausal woman. Woo! Right in front of you. And that's what I'm going, my, I'm going to be really quick. It's what my poem's about. And um, it's a bit of a, I think, a bit of a taboo subject. It doesn't get talked about a lot, even amongst women. So I'm going to break my, I'm party to that taboo, and I'm going to try and break it now and rattle the cage a bit. And uh, so here we go. It's based on my sort of uh, experience of going through the menopause, um, mostly. Um, and uh, yeah, so here we go. This is what you've got to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it does end with a positive thing, by the way, so don't worry. Right, it's called The Messenger. Can I talk to you, woman to woman, about a fact of life that you wouldn't even know it exists? We carry it in our woman bodies. We were born with it. We were babies with it. For most of our lives, it stays quiet. Then we hit 50. And it starts to wake up. It's got a job, the reason why it exists. Waiting for this, this moment of glory, our last ovary. Our last chance saloon at having a baby, our oldest egg, the queen bee. She's been with us through thick and thin, but now is her time. And after this, she dies. But first, she has a mission, a message to, de to deliver that will start a revolution in our bodies, a vibration profound, like something moving underground. You can't see it, but you can feel it coming. Like the great white shark in jaws. Welcome the menopause. And there's nothing we can do about it. We have to go through it, cold turkey or HRT. It's our woman destiny, it's part of our woman mystery. No one knows when it begins, no one knows when it ends. Not your GP, not an expert in gynaecology. We have to trust our body. She's been doing it for centuries, the secrets in our genes. A gift passed down from mother to daughter, but we won't thank her for it. Because at first it feels like a curse. Like an entity has taken over our body, performing acts of misogyny. And we'll probably fight it, deny it, waste money on every scam miracle product, because we just don't want to go through it. We won't want to admit it in public, because it betrays our age. And our age, a woman's middle age, is problematic in this youth-centric, youth-worshipping society, where women, above all else, must be young and fertile and pretty and sexy, like that's all a woman should be. Just because our young woman biology is coming to an end, why do we have to pretend that it isn't? Because if you watch the media and TV, we might as well retreat into the mist now that we've lost our youthful and usefulness. Walk round with paper bags on our heads. Does it offend society's sensibilities to see a middle-aged woman on our TV screens or on the front cover of a magazine without Botox or plastic surgery or Photoshop to the nth degree? Why can't she be she? A woman over 50, free to look her age, without ageist prejudice and unfair scrutiny. No wonder we feel invisible and paranoid in a world where middle-aged women should not be seen or heard, like we're some kind of scourge. Well, this is a message from our last ovary. Middle-aged menopausal women are out of the closet. Get used to it. But can I talk to you, woman to woman? And I don't want to put a gloss on it. Menopause can make you feel shit. About it, about life, about ourselves, about our bodies, which are aging at warp speed uncontrollably. Every day we wake up and something has changed, disappeared or grown. Weight gain where it's not wanted. Every day our emotions are on the brink of eruption and we can't control it. Sleep deprivation, no motivation, libido or lubrication. Perspiration that could provide irrigation for a thirsty nation. It's a hormonal, total recalibration. Think PMT, then times it by 150. And add hot flushes, lots and lots of hot, hot flushes. Middle of the night, head to toe, sweats like you've wet the bed. And you wake up feeling like Tyrannosaurus Rex. And everyone at work gives you a wide berth and rolls their eyes. What's wrong with her? And you snigger behind your back. 
and you feel like shouting, yes, I feel shit. It's a normal symptom of hormonal transition. Deal with it. But menopause not being acceptable socially, you hide it, scared to admit it, like it's an illness, a weakness, like the problem is us, not the ignorance and misogynistic views that surround us. But can I talk to you, woman to woman? Because here's the positive bit. We do get over it. And that's the mystery of our great woman bodies. Because if we wait, and let's face it, we have no option. Most of these things fade away. The great white shark swims away, eventually, though it can't come soon enough for most of us. But we learn. We learn to ac accept and adapt. We learn to live differently and quite often more contentedly, more at peace with ourselves and our wonderful middle-aged woman bodies. We may be older, but we're not lesser. Menopause is like a ticket to a new woman reality beyond fertility, impossible beauty and social expectation. Menopause is emancipation, like saying to your middle-aged face in the mirror, I love it, just the way it is, out loud, proud and lived. Because menopause is saying, fuck it. I want to be an artist or a poet or a hermit or any it. I want to be protest or just be quiet. I want to be a he or a she. I want to be me. Because menopause is finding that place in yourselves be before we became anything else. Before we're a lover or a mother or a partner. Before career. Finding that place we hold dear. That special place in ourselves and saying to the world, Yes, I'm a menopause or middle-aged woman, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. It's my natural rite of passage. But hey, I'm sure the world can deal with it. Because when you think about it, it's nothing in comparison to the egotistical testosterone tantrums that have held the whole world to ransom for centuries and brought it to global catastrophe. So please, finally, Respect and recognition for the middle-aged menopausal woman. Thank you very much.